Hello everyone. This is where we are in history. It's 2020. We're in the month of April. And um, we are closing in on Beltane, which is a, a mythological uh, celebration of the earth. And if you look up Irish paganism, you'll get an idea of it. Pardon me for the harsh lighting, but uh, that's my lighting. I'm doing some reporting personally on the experience that we're having right now. <laughs> which is, you go outside and you'll see people looking like that. If you have a cough or anything like that, that's what you put on. If you're sick. Otherwise, you're free to go about your way, you know, doing your thing, being whom, whoever you are. <laughs> and um, living your life. I'm in America. Uh, I'm not from the South, but I live near the South now. And as a Northerner, you never truly fit in with the South. You just plain don't. Um, but you respect it and love it. And the good people of, of the state I reside in are a mixed bag of people. So, several of them participated in a protest um, to, at, at the, some sort of place downtown, and it went all over um, March 22nd of, excuse me, April, um, gosh, we just had this. People gathered spontaneously in downtown city areas, unmasked for the most part, except if they did have a cough, and then they would put on a mask. Um, and um, people um, demonstrated, they protested, they want to go back to work. They are fearful of people uh, dying of, of loneliness, of poverty, of um, a disease at home, such as a heart attack that normally they would have gotten health from, but they're not getting it because of the prioritization. So these are the sorts of conversations that people are having. Um, and nobody wants to go to the hospital, so we're all being extra careful when we hammer things or saw things or jump over things or, you know, don't do any handstands if you don't know how to do one. <laughs> don't start doing cartwheels if you're not experienced. <laughs> well, since they've closed, all the, they've closed all the parks, so you can't actually go hiking. And if you do, you get fined. But you can go and stand in line at the liquor store. So the definition of essential and non-essential has been defined by our governments, which is why people were protesting. Um, essentially, all businesses are essential. So I've decided, you know, here at Minute Mark 4, I thought that we would talk about um, prohibition, you know. Prohibition, um, and this is sort of essentially, hi, I'm Kat, I am an artist, I am a mother, and I'm a lover to my man. <laughs> um, I've been with one for 10 years, and he's my life partner. And so my intimacy to you must be so that you understand I'm a woman who will exhibit her pure honesty and vulnerability even on YouTube. Um, with AI listening, I have a bot that talks to me. Not to me, but comments. And there's a bot all over the internet. I now have two bots that follow me. Anyway, I've decided to just be my natural self. 
even contrary to some conspiracy theorists that say, there's an alternate reality, it's being created, and all your consciousness will be captured and put into that reality. No, it won't. That's bull crap. No. Black magic only works with your consent and repeated words that often enough in a state of suggestibility is black, black magic. It's, it's hypnosis. You use hypnosis in a positive way. I am resilient. I am healthy. I have immunity. It's very, very simple. So let's get to it. It's um, just about at the 550 minute mark. Critical thinking for the stay at home order for the philosopher. <laughs> Prohibition, what did it control? The consumption of alcohol, yeah. And so what did people do? I don't know if they protested, I am not researching it. I'm an artist, uh, I'm a thinker, I tinker, I play on my guitar, I'm a songwriter. So, what did the people do as an antidote? Speakeasies, my friend. Speakeasies and bootlegging. Private distilleries, things like that. People are resilient, will always find a way. In America, at least. Home of the free and the brave. And it's true, except for the masses. The masses are controlled by the media. <laughs> I don't think they have a clue about what's being done to them. Right in front of them. Quarantine. Look at the etymology of quarantine. Okay? We'll go into that later. Someone's knocking on the floor. Um, so this is raw and unedited. Um, I start thinking about what did people do? That's right. They made speakeasies. So all people have to do is make pop-up gatherings without being obvious about it, without posting it on Facebook and social media, just doing it. Just being in their community, supporting each other. Yeah, I'm not advocating you break any laws and any um, act that you do as a um, you have to understand this is time this is time for you to take your own personal responsibility and stop looking for the so happy way out of life so many people oh they're leeches so speak easy is with the response okay so what about the witch hunts remember the witch hunts and what does that have to do with this? I'll tell you. Uh, we now have access to holistic medicine in that enough people have invested their own time and money in studying and learning holistic uh, medicine that they have acquired the knowledge base to be able to advise. In fact, many herbalists can actually can create their own formulas. And this isn't an herb class. I recommend mountainroseherbs.com. They have both raw material and extracts made already. So you might mess around on there and see what you can find. I heard dandelion root tea, which is really tea that was really good to have right now. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so we're also here. Uh, we have this comet coming, mid-May. It's here now, it's visible now. It's Atlas, it's C-19. The same... Uh, <laughs> this, the... The con has the same number. Why is it a con? Because we're supposed to treat the human body differently 
than how it's being done to the masses. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying on that. Uh, so I will post a advised YouTube station for you to look around at and do your own sleuthing. And I'll tell you which one I listened to that had a uh, two holistic doctors from Michigan that were treating people successfully. They're a very simple method. And I'm not a doctor, and therefore I'm not going to go into it right now. But you'll get all that. So we concurrently have um, this atlas, which is Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Now, I don't know the history on it. <clears throat> I just know that it was found in the fourth quarter of 2019, December. Um, and I wasn't sure about where in planetary Tantra the, the um, Taurus, if, it, if it, we would have Aldebaran uh, or the Pleiades. Um, but we're coming up on April 29th, man. This week is going to be the time to really be able to see um, C19, the comet. <laughs> Because it goes the opposite way as the rest of the sky flows, I believe. So you do looking around for that. I'm not an astronomer. I just know that this is happening at the same time. And we also have a beautiful uh, energetic. We're uh, just one, two, three, four, five days into... The new planetary shift, everybody. This is when you get to do the planetary vow. Do the iron binding with the mother. If you're into that. Uh, and you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're following John Land Lash's work at nemeta.org. N-E-M-E-T-A dot org. So quarantine. Uh, the etymology in that is pretty interesting because I did some sleuthing around. I was looking into vaccines because all this talk about vaccines has people freaked out. All right, that was the number one reason why we had protests, especially in Texas, because somebody's governor said that quarantine would end when everybody got vaxxed. Well, people realize what this is. It's the con. Just like uh, it, it would be the witch hunt. This is what it has to do with the witch hunt. And the witch hunts people actually turned on each other and innocent women were burnt at the stake, which is a horrible, horrible way to die. <laughs> it's fucked up. Okay. Um, yeah. And now we have um, a vaccination, which for the week, they want everybody to get it because that way they're safe. Who cares if you've taken care of your body, exercised, eaten right, taken vitamins, <laughs> treated it holistically. Um, I got strep throat last winter and I treated it naturally rather than going to the doctor because I needed my system to get strong. I needed to have acquired immunity. So why would a person like me even consider a vaccination? <laughs> I wouldn't. See? So those people that were just like me, they were the ones protesting, and they were protesting without masks on, mind you, without. Because we're also into this whole idea of herd immunity. You're crushing the small business person in the name of the weakest link on the chain. Now, when I played that game, The weakest link did not determine whether or not you won or lost. The weakest link was simply out of the game. I'm speaking in metaphor. Don't take anything personal. But the stuff that we've always been a people that has made it through. And this planned pandemic. <laughs> is simply a ploy. And, oh, how about the idea of uh, 
oh yeah, the, it, it, the disease came from outer space and it landed in China. And I was like, that's a conspiracy theory. I don't care what that is. To me, that's, oh yeah, right. <laughs> well, I have an answer to that. There's my antidote. It's my meteorite. I found it. So what happens if we actually can create healing from things that are available to us or that they're not even effective to us anyway. So I'm just, I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to go uh, introduce myself to this virus because it, I'm stronger than it. No. <laughs> By the time it would get to me in a natural way, it would have been diluted and it would have probably have mutated into a lesser form. Unless it's a cover-up for the doo-wop, doo-wop, if you know what I'm talking about. It has to do with that number. <laughs> and oh, my G-string over there. Ding, ding. So this is all what's going on right now. And when you get this in the future, if, if, if it, it actually is still on the internet, uh, you'll recognize how uh, human beings are like, yeah, we're on lockdown. Some of us have it easier than others. I've got a yard. I don't live in a dense metropolitan area where I'm only allowed to get out once a day. So that's where you want to get a happy light. You want to go online and get the full spectrum lights and expose yourself to that and meditate, please. Get into meditation of some kind. Here I am telling you what to do. I don't mean to do that. So the motivation of the witch hunts, um, basically, to control people, you have to control their um, systems. So back in the day, they had men protecting the women, and they had wise men, and they had herbalists, and um, they killed the warriors. There were a few left, and they killed, uh, because they paid, paid, paid soldiers. Paid or ideology. Um, ideology, such as a kamikaze fl flyer in um, that war that would actually fly their planes into a building. Um, I think that was during Pearl Harbor, as a matter of fact. I don't know if it was true, but they were called kamikaze pilots. So you have ideology going on. So. In this time of lockdown, of the stay-at-home order, of this people going on around, some of them terrified and wearing one of these, and other people going, <sighs> I'm living in 2020. On the threshold of the new era. This is a breakdown of structures. And we're on the front line. <laughs> Quarantine, uh, if you do the etymology on that, you'll notice it has to do with like, like you know, 40 days. Um, online sources can be manipulated even as soon as yesterday or one second ago. So you might want to check up quarantine and the history of quarantine and its use or the etymology of quarantine for yourself. Now, it's based on an old in, uh, Indo um, European word um, that essentially can get like the der derivative of mouse. So I did some sort of like leaping in my brain because I discovered that there are certain, these things that they do your arm, that use um, mouse brains, and as a result, caused this. That's a C, that's an F, that's an S. And it was once called a yuppie disease, and it was mainly women. So whatever women were allowing themselves to be vaccinated with, if I say that word too much, the algorithm's going to peg me, so I don't know how many times I said that. But I'm not afraid anymore. Um, in fact, I'm going to put that in the, the 
bar because this is really um, is an ethical issue. Is it fair to force and mandate a drug that will alter the genetic makeup of a human being forever? Is it fair to mandate that, to make it mandatory for the weak and the frightened amongst us? Of course not. <laughs> um, will they force you physically? Nope. If it, we turn into a total effed up society, dystopian, is that the word for it? If that happens, which I'm not counting on, <laughs> then you'll lose rights and privileges. We don't want that to happen. No. No. We want our rights and privileges. Well, actually, they say you don't really have rights, you have privileges. As a white person, I'm told I've got white privilege, whatever that means. And I say, yeah, I'm lucky. I did a good job. I pat my spirit back. And not only that, I'm in America. I'm in the front line of the shit show. <laughs> because we're owned. Yeah, we, we, uh, <laughs> we may be called a democratic society, but I'm far from it. Yep. So I'm going to play my guitar for a little bit, folks. There, there she is. And uh, wish you well in your um, stay at home. Um, I did want to look up that word prohibition because prohi prohibition, prohibit, you can't do this, you can't do that. All right. This time is about you. It's time for you to tune into you. Um, by all means, if you're in a financial situation, you need to reach out to people. At the same time, this certainly is a spiritual test for all of us. But I don't want to. I do not wish to put myself into the collective. That's one of the things that planetary tantra differentiates behind service to self or service to others. It's too late for service to others because I know how messed up some people are in the head. And they would throw you under the bus no sooner. So all bets are off, friends. This is up to you to rise to your occasion and to do what it is for yourself. Uh, at the same time, with compassion, kindness, and if you can help somebody, do it. So this guy that my, um, my partner and I know used to work at the restaurant that's been closed down the street. So he walked by, and I knew him from the kitchen, and I had made a big batch of chili with my partner together, and we had so much of it that I froze some of it. So I gave him a big quart jar of it so he could... I asked him if he wanted it, and so he took that and six bucks. That's all we had in cash. And I felt like that's what I can do. I, I can help people in my immediate community. I can be kind and loving to people in my community. From a distance. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So whatever this thing is, um, they say it's killing people, but it's not killing the ones that are being treated holistically. You won't hear that on the news. And in fact, they shadow ban people who actually say things like that. I would like for this video to get out there, and I'd love for people to save it, so that you will know that in April 2020, we are well aware of the possible... Um, direction and this is it it's not forced government regulation it's frightened scaredy cats against the healthy people 
And I'm not going to worry about that either. I don't want to put that into the, the field, but that's something you think about. So, because it's evidenced. I mean, it's evidenced. You can tell who's afraid and who isn't. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it whether or not they smile. You can see it whether or not their body language, everything, whether they recoil. And you can also tell if somebody is um, a carrier that wants to infect you, they will invade your personal space. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, no, no. Stay away. Stay away. I'm, I'm enjoying this like social distancing thing as a psychic person that feels stuff. It's been wonderful. Um, so, don't get all freaked out about Atlas and, oh, plagues, and it always comes during such a time, and maybe the comet's carrying more disease, uh, or maybe it's carrying the antidote. What do you think I'm wearing here? You know what this is? This is Moldavite. You know what Moldavite does? Moldavite. It came from outer space. It landed in Czechoslovakia. It landed in Czechoslovakia, and it melted the um, silica in the soil, and it made this green... Oh, that's my Labradorite. It made this green... Beautiful, molten-y, <laughs> anyway, this thing. That came from outer space. And it's a gift. So I'm like, <laughs> there's a conspiracy theory network that puts out 10% shit, if not more. And then they also have some insights. This is basically a war for your attention and your psyche. Where are you going to put your attention? It's a test of your character. I admit it. Every now and then, I definitely get a little frightened of the unknown, of the, oh gosh, when are they going to start the roadblocks? I'm not going to let them put a temperature gun up against my head. I refuse. I won't allow it. I will be like... I uh, will find a way other than subjecting myself to that. Just like you don't have to go through the x-ray equipment where you hold up your hand and they can see your naked body. Where you go into one of those uh, zap, body zap, thing where they look all the way through your body. <laughs> you can say, feel me up and pat me down. I don't want, I, I, um, I forgot the exact words. But it's called, um, I don't consent to that, um, what other searches are there. Like, I actually have a known travel number, so I paid a $85 mix extra to have $5, excuse me, five years in a row where I don't have to go through security check the same way as the masses. It's been a lifesaver. So... <clears throat> The dragon and the kundalini energy of the dragon. There's a, a woman uh, who talks about making a dragon being on a dragon, learning a dragon kundalini um, work called Magenta Pixie. And she's out there in either the new age or the new cage or other, I don't know, because she's different than me. I, 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 I'm seeing... She's into unity consciousness, and we're all one, and I'm not into that. I'm into, some of us are. <laughs> and it, it doesn't have a race color or anything like that attached to it. It's just plain spirit. There are people of like kindred spirit. That's all. You have kindred spirits. You have people that... Um, look like people, but they're definitely not operating like they're a kind, compassionate, wonderful person that you want to go, oh, we're all one with. And other people would hear me, and the argument is, <clears throat> well, 
that's you, but an unevolved lesser form of you. No. 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 I don't buy it. I am a good person. I've always been a loving, good person. My ulterior motive has been to feel good about myself, express myself, to be free, to be around people that were loving and kind, to enjoy the beauty of life, to uh, feed the birds and, and have a garden and enjoy good food and cook for, for friends and have a really good lover and have wonderful sex. And to wake up and smell the beautiful air and witness the trees being kissed by the wind and the weather and the clouds change. And to be there for my family as a loving person. Especially the one I brought through my loins. My daughter and my son were both born all natural and you have no idea how much they kept pushing drugs, drugs, drugs in the hospital. I didn't need any. And I did two children, all natural. I could have had them in my bathtub. And I prepared myself for it. I did raspberry root, raspberry leaf tea in the last trimester, not before. This is not medical advice. This is what I did. Raspberry leaf tea. It strengthened the uterine contractions. My husband at the time and I continue to have sex. Sex is extremely good to maintain the health of the baby, the mother, and the bond between the mother and the father. So guys who stop having sex with their women because they're freaked out because they were raised fucking Catholic or something, sorry, sorry, if, if they think that they're like hitting their own baby in the head, <laughs> cuckoo, um, that baby wants it. It gets energy. You're adding to the vitality of the child. See? Sex is power. Why do you think it was made bad? And then why do you think it then became weaponized against us by making it free love in the 60s? All kinds of malarkeys going on here, folks. It ain't just this little latest do handy that they've given us, you know? So Magenta Pixie, why I like her is that she means well and uh, she just talks about how we can do a three-step program not to participate in the plan and the program for our own undoing and to also rise to the occasion. But the caveat is that you recognize and love these energies, these dark energies on the planet, which I won't do. I'll see them for what they are. I'm not loving them. Oh, no, no, no. Because I'm a child of the goddess. I'm a child of earth. I'm of the earth. I'm of the earth. I love the earth. And the earth loves me. So that's what's happening here uh, right now. Um, in this world of ours. Uh, and the truth is that we are really having our own experience, but we're in it together. And when I saw the protests, even though I'm like not for protests formally, I was, my heart lightened, I was happy. And um, I'm looking at the lies that they're doing, they meaning those that are promoting the narrative, the fear mongering that's occurring. At the same time, the attention to the opportunity to grow personally, recognizing that during these powerful energies and during this time of um, change astrologically and astronomically and what that significance is with the coming of Atlas, with Saturn with facing off um, with Jupiter and what's up with Uranus 
Go to um, the oraclereport.com, the Oracle Report. Laura does a really good breakdown of what these mean, and she also follows Planetary Tantra, so she knows who the Mahavidyas are. She works with the Mahavidyas. I'm not sure if she's into Gnosis, but she certainly knows quite a thing or two. Um, there's a dark agenda on the planet, and some people know what it is, and some people don't. Whether a person is into the norming news, which is simply, let's allow herd immunity to normalize, equalize this thing, rather than making the new normal um, the lowest common denominator. <laughs> let's all stay home and be frightened together, shall we? Because we don't want that person all by themselves to feel bad. No. <laughs> We don't want them to feel bad at all. Just like I told my brother today, I had a conversation with him. I go, you know what? The whole no child left behind means let's all slow down. Let's slow. Let's all, let's all slow down. Let's slow down the smart kids for that one. No child left behind. Remember, um, this isn't anymore about to me the masses and let's get critical mass. If that happens, great. What does critical mass mean anyway? To me, it's make your own connection to the divine. Put your house in order. Get clear about who you are and what's important to you. And enjoy it. Uh, fight uh, pathogens if you receive any. Uh, and that includes the ones in your head. We're programmable. Make yourself resilient. Make yourself resilient. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, I'll talk later, okay?